Hi guys and welcome back. It's great to actually be back online. It's been a really busy few weeks obviously. We've done a lot with the Save Movement Scotland. We had James Aspie over. What an amazing, amazing guy. You'll have seen the videos that I've actually posted that will be up this week. There's four parts to it because it was another long speech. Absolutely amazing guy, like I say, he even talked about how he used to not like the animals and such like, so he said he had a dog and he used to hate the dog. He used to talk about how he worked in a cruise ship and such like, and he would basically, he would be right against vegetarianism, and he, and he was even a personal trainer, the way he wouldn't condone veganism to anybody because he felt it was totally, to, totally wrong, and that he needed all this protein and such like. And he goes on to obviously talk about his year long, where he was in silence for a whole year and he talked about how basically we should be planting seeds which basically for veganism, just if you can touch that one person like he says, it's planting a seed and that seed grows. Like he says one person can end up in one million, he says you just don't know how many people you can actually touch. But I say he was an amazing, amazing guy. He touched upon a lot of things, basically how we should be advocating veganism. He actually talked about how he was speaking to a farmer at one of his talks, and the farmer obviously got very, very militant because he obviously believed that obviously he was trying to take away his livelihood. And like he said, you can either bring yourself down to that level where you actually start arguing with people, or you can actually bring them up. And actually, like he said, he actually started talking to him and says, look, you, you're not going to lose, lose your livelihood. There's many, many things we can do to actually help you keep your livelihood. There's many, many things out there, fruits and vegetables and such likes, and a lot of ways that you can actually keep the farming industry without having to actually hurt the hurt or interfere with the animals. Absolutely amazing, like I say, really, really great, and I was further a dream to actually be part of it with them and actually stand beside them doing vigils. So anyway, I was just actually at the vegan shop in Glasgow and I thought I would show you a little, little haul I got. This will actually all be part of my weekly update, so I'll let you all know how I got on with my weight and things like that. I've obviously been struggling quite a bit, like I say, but I'm doing a lot of vegan activism and things and it's just knowing what I'm doing that is not only helping myself but helping the animals. Because like I say, with an eating disorder, you basically lose motivation in life, but being vegan is not obviously going to cure your eating disorder, but it's giving you a higher purpose, something that motivates you to actually get yourself better, and that's what it's all about. It's like the little quote that was said in the Rocky film, people die when, when they don't want to live no more, but he says, you give me motivation to keep going, and that's what it's all about, and that's what the animals is all about, it's knowing that it's not about you, veganism is not about you, it's not about curing, it, may, it won't cure your eating disorder like I say, that's why I always say to people that the, you know, sometimes the worst thing you can do in eating disorder recovery is actually to go vegan, but like I say, it's about the choices you make every single day, when you go out to the shops or you go out to a restaurant, it's knowing that what you're having is not going to harm any animal or being on this planet. It's about helping, not only knowing that it's helping yourself, but it's helping the, the, the animals as well. That gives you so, so, so much and it's, it's an amazing, amazing thing and that's what it's all about guys and that's what veganism is all about. That's why I do my, what, as much as I do for activism and the Save Movement Scotland. So anyway, I got the quality vitamins and herbs in Glasgow, I actually got vegan buckwheat pancake mix by Organan, so that's absolutely great. Obviously as well, they've actually started doing these guys, look, vegan croissants, absolutely amazing. There's a, look at the size of them, they're absolutely brilliant to say the least. Vegan scones as well, that they've actually started doing. Fully vegan, looks absolutely beautiful, like I say. Actually as well, a new thing that I actually got, vegan black pudding, suitable for vegans, so this is, should be absolutely great. I've heard so, so much about this, so I'm going to really try this out, guys. Obviously as well, I got the salty, uh, no, sorry, hazelnut crunch, Booja Booja. Dark Nougat Vivani. White Nougat Crisp. And obviously I got my usual, obviously the Squatty Cream by Slag Fix, 100% vegan. And another new thing that I've actually started doing is this here, let me show you these, these look absolutely great. I had them last week, they were absolutely beautiful. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I actually had one. It's these 
vegan brownies and I've actually got cherry in them and things are, are absolutely delicious guys. So but I see I'm so all settled in in my new house and things like that guys. It's really really nice and uni in here. I hope to be back on you now very very soon. I'll be doing some you now streams as soon as I can get my internet fixed because the internet here is really really quite bad so it has been it's like 0.18 upload so I'm hoping to get things sorted and be back online very very soon guys so I hope you can please like, share and subscribe my channel as much as possible, grow this community, let's help people go vegan, let's help people recover from eating disorders, that's what it's all about I'll speak to you all soon when I speak to my eating disorder specialist and let you know how, how things went guys but love you so 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 much, really really do, speak to you soon Hi guys and welcome back, that's me actually just had my eating disorder nurse just in to see me just now there and actually I've gained 0.4 kilograms this week so I'm up to 48.8 so that's been two weeks of it, I've actually just gained 0.4 so an awful lot of work to do guys so I know what I've got to do but I'm really getting there and I'm hoping to be back on you now very very soon so keep, just check out Keep an eye out for my, my you now streams, I hope to be back very very soon as a, a bit of internet access. I've actually got a question for you, I had a very bad day and I filmed a video basically the, like, the day in the life of an anorexic, basically where I was having a really bad day because I got some bad news, I had a lot of behaviours and such likes. I was wondering if you would like me to post this video, I think it would raise a lot of awareness but I'm a bit worried about it because I know that it's got a lot of things like it's got photos of my body and it's got behaviours and such like and I'm just a little bit worried that it maybe upsets a lot of people so please let me know your thoughts guys what I say and keep trucking on thank you all for your love and support I really really appreciate it and I'll speak to you all very very soon sending you all love and remember as always binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings I love you so so much remember guys binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings speak to you all soon and love you so much